Hi there. Thank you so much for sending me your essays for correction. My name's Daphne and I'm going to help you, um, well, help, <laughs> I'm going to read them with you and see what feedback I can offer you. I'm really glad you've got involved in the course with IELTSpodcast.com. Uh, that is great and uh, hopefully with the feedback we can give you and with the course you can make some improvement for your IELTS. Uh, when's your exam? Be good to know. So the first two essays, this one is about schools being more entertaining as opposed to being just educational. And which do you agree with? And you're going to use examples. So this one, I like your first statement. Everyone should have the right to education. And schools are the first place of education. Um, so they should be interesting and not boring. Okay, can we avoid repeating education? Schools are the initial, uh, the initial or the beginning, I suppose, the beginning of this process. So they should be interesting or not boring. Uh, spelling on that, uh, that you've got that a few times. Boring. Uh, you want B O R I N G. Oh, not like that. Sorry. So every time you have got a red line, you'll see uh, my corrections. That's because there's a spelling issue. Okay. Every single person has his or her learning pace. And if we create interest in the Okay, uh, again, try not to repeat. If we can create interest through uh, creativity, uh, this, now, uh, I'm referring to learning. You're referring back to his or her. I think you should refer back to learning. This will happen in a better way um, that, and avoid, and avoid, uh, better way, and avoid tedious teaching methods. Okay, so just a few things there um, that you might be able to just re or just correct or rewrite, have a look at, uh, just to tidy up that introduction. But otherwise, it's nice. I like how you're making a big statement and you're, you've developed it. Um, maybe indicate to me where you're going to go on your opinion on that one. So firstly, people learn faster than anything if they have an interest in a particular subject. Okay, faster than anything is a little bit um, informal. You could say, firstly, it is proven or scientists have um, concluded that people learn faster when they are interested in a particular subject. This is largely because, yes, this is really interesting. I like that. That's all absolutely perfect. Um, very, very nice example. Um, in this way, yeah, uh, he or she. But maybe we'll talk about students or children because we're talking about children really of school age. Um, children will learn whilst being engaged in the game. Therefore, schools should emphasize learning through, not via, uh, more attractive ways than the traditional methods of reading, writing, and drilling or something. Give me a little indication as to what you mean by traditional methods. Always really important to, when you make a statement, just to show the examiner you know what you're saying. So secondly, children by nature are always keen to play. And by mixing games into learning, okay, by including games in the curriculum, we could say, rather than repeating learning again. Uh, uh, and by mixing games in the learning, shall not divert original ideas of education. Okay. Mm, not sure what you mean by that. Maybe you can help me on that. By mixing games into the learning. Um, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, mix it, okay, by, um, all right. Put the inclusion of games in the curriculum will not divert from education, from academics maybe just to see what we mean instead may enhance them in an effective and more productive manner okay i think that might work better this is a really good sounding film i don't know it and i'm going to look it up one famous film tell me where it is in india in i'm not sure where you are tell me where this film is from could be taken to support the argument as it shows or recounts is a nice way of telling a story how a, ch a, ch a child's reading disorder was cured through the innov through innovative ideas. So you don't need the there when the traditional teachers rejected him and threatened to expel him from school. We should consider it as a valuable addition to the system. Okay, we consider it. You need to tell me what it is because you've talked about the film. I don't think you mean the film. I think you mean different learning methods. So. Again, you don't use that pronoun, just tell me what you mean. Um, 
To put in a nutshell, I pen down. Now, in a nutshell is a lovely English idiom, but it is too informal for this academic essay. So I'm afraid you're going to have to leave that out. Um, and I pen down doesn't exist in English. So we can't say that. So just say simply, in conclusion, um, I believe that. I want your opinion here. The question asks for your opinion. I believe that um, traditional methods um, are guilty of teaching children in a monotonous fashion um, and adding some enjoyment in the learning process will definitely, yeah, will definitely give an ease to their life. Okay, definitely um, make school more enjoyable. Okay, uh, therefore children will not teach studies as a burden. I'm going to enjoy, okay. Uh, makes, okay, so if we go back to this, make school more enjoyable and learning less of a burden. Something like that. Maybe just incorporate that together. Okay. But otherwise, that is a nice, really nice first essay. Good work using the structure recommended on the course because I think that structure works really well. And I can see how you've really worked to develop your paragraphs really nicely with your topic sentence and developing it and then example and then back up your example. So this is a really good start. Let's go on to the second one which is about doing an activity. So we're comparing doing an activity to reading. Okay, so childhood is a precious time in everyone's life and every single fam uh, family member, uh, okay, you don't need even, every single family fam member and friends enjoys these lifetime memorable moments. Okay, uh, we're talking about reading though, so I need to know quite quickly that you're going to stay on topic and you're going to talk to me about reading. Um, undisputably, it's a parent's responsibility to help um, develop, not developing, to help develop the necessary skill set in their child. Okay, which skill set I'm saying? This can easily be done through implementing innovative or, you don't need the, innovative or creative ways in the learning, in the education system. Okay, learning is a skill that we should all do efforts to make it easier rather than make it complicated. Okay, now for me, your introduction doesn't answer this question at all. So, doing an activity can develop better skills than reading. The most important word here in this essay is reading. So, well, you need to be referring constantly back to that. To me, the introduction should be about the value of reading and that other things might help your creativity more than reading or not, depending on where you sit. So, firstly, children always indulge in exploring new things. Okay, lovely. Now, either are always indulging or always indulge, present simple. Um, as, join it together, they learn through their surroundings and loved one's behaviour. Okay, and mimic, you could say, mimic or mirror their loved one's behaviour. Yes. Imagine if we mix up learning and playing together, it will be an easy task to boost up their growth without doing extra effort. Okay. I don't like starting with imagine, it's too informal for an academic essay. So, um, you could say, by mixing or by uh, coordinating or blending would be a better word, learning and playing together, comma, then you need to have, um, so if you're starting with by doing this, um, it is easier um, to, yeah, to boost growth or, okay, by doing this, um, a boost in growth and growth is easily achieved without doing extra effort, or so without extra effort. The so different sentence structure there. So starting with by and then ing's participle clause is shows the examiner complex grammar, which they like. I like your example. Um, for example, many kin uh, kindergartens, playgrounds, that's one word together, contain these various things um, and so on. Don't use that. Um, you could say positioned to teach children rather than kids as they play. This is too informal. Um, this way, children or youngsters, you could have, play and learn simultaneously without sparing extra time on studying. Okay, play and learn si simultaneously uh, without an academic burden, you could say, which is another word you had from your last essay, which is really good. Also gives them the opportunity to mix up with us. Okay, mix with others. Okay, this gives them the, the added benefit of learning, sharing skills, and um, 
and um, yeah, it's getting on with their peer group, we could say. You're still not linking this to reading, okay? So that's two paragraphs and you haven't mentioned reading. This has got to be um, talking about, okay, I mean, that's okay, but in your conclusion, somewhere of that paragraph, you need to mention reading to bring me on to the next paragraph. On the other hand, reading is a kind of monotonous or sort of boring activity. Okay, that's a very big statement. Uh, you should avoid making big statements like that without um, backing it up. So you could say, on the other hand, many believe that reading, um, so if you say by many believe you're stepping away, reading can be found to be modern, or some, many believe that some children find reading to be monotonous, find reading monotonous. Um, I wouldn't say boring, it's not very academic, monotonous and lonely or challenging activity, though it's a necessary part of education. Good, hooray, that's what you need to be saying quite near, let back up in your introduction here. Um, however, okay, through the creative way of storytelling, it can be turned into an interesting, uh, yes, an interesting, stimulating and motivating activity. Okay, so let's not repeat way of learning all the time this is uh, the repetition is coming up a lot this is a nice example i remember that um, my daughter's teacher always complained that she um only read the words yet failed to recognize what sort of failed to recognize what was in the story okay so um she simply read the words without showing comprehension of this of the story uh, as a family we turned the book into storytelling which was very successful um, and inspired her to uh, investigate the meaning something like this we just need to upgrade this normally we wouldn't use a personal example in this kind of essay again this is academic but you've used it nicely but if you're going to use it you need to make the language as academic as you can uh, therefore Children learn faster through creative ways compared to the traditional way of learning. Yeah, but you're not talking about that. You did that in the other essay. You're talking about making reading creative to make it more interesting. So keep on your question. Uh, pen down. Uh, we're going to move that out. We're going to say in conclusion. I believe that. Um, by saying learning is a step-by-step -step process which can strengthen and accelerate by adopting more interesting methods. Okay. Um, yeah, but that's not the question. That's what the question before was. Schools are working. Okay. Yep. So I, I've got it. You can tell. <laughs> I've got a problem with task achievement. So for me, you're not answering the question, which is to talk about doing an activity with a child can develop better skills than reading. So maybe you should be talking about doing a sport with a child, taking them to a museum, um, take them to an art gallery, that kind of stuff. Um, even uh, showing them how you grow things in your garden, uh, is that making them more creative than reading? Okay, So that's the kind of direction. So this essay, more of a problem with, not particularly from the grammar, um, more from the answering the question, which has just led you off on the wrong direction. Don't worry, it's something we look at in the course. So don't worry about that. Um, your grammar looks really nice to me, all I've tried to suggest is slightly more complex ways of um, answering some of these things. And vocabulary is pretty good. Avoid repetition. Where you can, if you feel you're saying learning, 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 try and find a way around it. Uh, but you've made a great start and well done. Uh, what we suggest is that you rewrite these, or rewrite sections at least, and write a list of your corrections, and that will help you learn. Thank you very much. Well done.